So let's get started with our dry set. My name is Avi and welcome to Agutainin Vlog. In today's video, I will be teaching you how to make a dried fish. But, it's different than the one that we have before. It's different than the eel video that I made. Making a dried fish with an actual small little fish. If you haven't seen the eel video yet, I will put the link on the description down below. So you guys like check it out you might want it. it's very interesting so we have here this fish in, in this bowl this is a fresh fish it just like been delivered this morning from the sea well it, it is actually for free and we kind of like don't want to waste it so we're making a dried fish in it Hopefully you guys can follow. Oh, I really apologize about the last video that we had about the pupper fish if you have seen that and if you haven't seen that yet I will also put the link on the description down below is the instruction is really like Fast forward. I will try to make it up to you guys. I think I will be making that video again when we actually manage to get uh, another pupper fish so Let's get started with our dry fish okay guys before we start we have to like have a bucket of water and our fish and also another empty uh, container to put our fish later we will clean it up so we need this and we also need the chopping board and some banana leaves the first thing we should do if if the fish is from the coral reefs like this ones, they have like scales. We should remove the scales like this. Be careful to watch your hand. But don't worry, there are also like some things to that you can some tools that you can use to actually remove the scales without doing it manually. But for now we'll just like continue removing the scales for this one and then we'll put it right back there I'm gonna make it as quick as possible as I could so the reason why we're getting free fish is because we have a boat and it's actually like a rent for the boat that we have they go fishing and then they'll just instead of paying us with money they'll just pay us with fish so <laughs> we won't really have to worry about our viand we just have to worry about buying rice don't mind the flies though they are abundant here if you are in a tropic they are really abundant especially at this time that mangoes are going ripe Hopefully you can follow guys, just, okay, before I, okay, before I forgot, when you are removing the scales of the fish, you have to hold it on the head and start right here at this, uh, at the bottom of the, what you call it, the tail, and just pull this scales off and doing it repeatedly. So you can get the fish, the, the fish scales off. We only have a few fish, but we would love to make a dried fish out of it because we can actually put it in the vegetables. I think I'm gonna show you those two when when I have like time to do so or when I can. Or maybe when it's available as of now. grab one of this one of the fish and start slicing at the tail part of the fish 
then we'll slice okay here's the tail so you should like start slicing here up to here which is the fin you should start like here at the fin at the tail of the fish and then go to the fin and you would open this like this is how you do it you should slice it up like this And then just keep on slicing but you have to remember that you would just slice it to the head basically like slice it in half like this that you should leave the belly part attached to each other so it would be like an open dried fish so it would be like a normal dried fish you can also like dry it like if you wanted to like a whole fish but of course that will be harder to dry than actually opening it and then we'll put it away we'll toss it on the other container that we have so we are done slicing our fish in half and then we'll add some water we should toss this water away then the next thing that we should do is we should remove the guts of the fish this ones you should remove it with the like you should remove the gills in, uh, including the guts of the fish you don't really have to like clean it clean it if you can hear the hen don't mind it it's waiting for a for the guts of the fish to be thrown at them they eat it They're omnivore. And make sure you clean it properly. It depending depending on if you're gonna sell it or if you're just gonna like for personal consumption. This is the gills. You should start with that. Just pull it and then the guts. Sometimes the guts will follow, but sometimes if it is a smaller fish, sometimes it doesn't doesn't come off that easy. Now I will take you inside the house for the next procedure of our dried fish. Okay, the next part of our dyeing is like the process that we did from the last video on the eel video, but we will be putting different stuff on it. Like, not different stuff, but just garlic. It's gonna be like garlic tea dying okay so we'll start with the vinegar this is a normal vinegar so uh, I think it's a cocoa vinegar then we'll put salt it's not a decent amount it's a lot of salt that's what preserves the fish the salt <laughs> Okay, the next thing that we should do is we should crush our garlic. The best way to crush a garlic in Filipino style is get a garlic, one clove of garlic, put your knife in, and just smash it like that. Smash it as hard as you could, but don't smash it like, like it's going to get ruined. Then you just take the peel off. See? It's easy. It's easier to do than slicing it all together <laughs> at one time. You could just slice the peel the garlic like that. It's easy. Then just combine it together. You could also put some seasonings if you want. That would make your dying tastier. But for me, we're just like okay with this. Spear this a little bit more. If you think you're lacking salt, just add some more salt. 
the longer you want it to be the longer you want it to stay in their shelf life the longer you want to put salt in okay this is our dyeing we just put it here put our fish here in the vinegar usually we love to like soak it in for like a couple of hours I think that's what we are going to do right now you can just put lots of salt in and just dry it salt is also good even if you don't put vinegar we just put vinegar so it will be it will taste much better than the ones that you actually have with salt okay like the eel ones if you it has to be like pale but not every fish gets that pale like this one it still has some red areas you wanted to turn it over on the other side if you think that all of them has already like a vinegar on it maybe we should transfer it like here you could transfer the fish on the other bigger container if you want to dry it as soon as you could when the sun is up you could actually do that but if you want to keep it in a mixture for like 24 hours and then fry it in the morning and you can still do that and you can also keep it in the mixture and dry it in the morning we'll put it here and then we'll cover now we have to wait for at least 30 minutes for the vinegar to actually be soaked inside the fish and the salt will be inside the fish before drying it outside made yourself a dried fish not a dried fish hopefully i can show you the drying process later but the sun is not actually sun dry this dyeing but the sun is actually not out so we'll find a way another method to actually how to dry it hopefully guys you enjoy the video if you do enjoy the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell down below i'll see you on the next video on the drying part of this dying bye, -bye.